All right. Welcome to day 14 of the advent of code in Haskell. We've been at it for 13 days now. And we're more than halfway through, right? So, but it's getting harder. So let's see if we can keep it up. Yesterday was pretty easy in Haskell. But uh, yeah, we're not always that lucky. But now we have more uh, tools available, right? And breath first search is so fast. Anyway, some Haskell. I'm also using this bottle. It's not a Haskell bottle, but I actually got it from uh, Zoom Farm. Known for such things as the processors in, well, almost everything now. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Let's get started on day 14. Uh, I've already created some skeleton here. Make it bigger. So, a lot of our viewers are actually on YouTube, not live. And one of them said, Make the font bigger. I can't read it on my mobile. And I, for those people, I just had to say, you know, pretty impressive that you're watching these on a mobile. Anyway, let's get started. Uh, what are we doing today? We did some distress signals. Yesterday we were figuring out packets. We went up the hill. We fixed the screen. So much we're doing. Okay. So now the signal's coming from the waterfall. And then we go behind the waterfall. Wow. Okay. There's a large cave system. Oh my god. Oh my god. My familiarity. Okay, so we're definitely like, it's like a continuum. Right? We're like the same person. <laughs> All right. You begin to you begin to feel the ground rumble for a moment. Sand becomes pouring into the cave. If you don't quickly figure out where the sand is going, you could quickly become trapped. Fortunately, your familiarity with analyzing the path of fall material will come in handy here. You scan a two dimensional vertical slice of the cave above you. And discover that it's mostly air with structures made of rock. Your scan traces the path of each solid rock structure and reports the X, Y coordinates that form the shape of that path, where X represents the distance to the right and Y represents the distance down. Each path appears as a single line of text in your scan. After the first point of each path, each point, okay, let me just see, what is the actual input? Okay, uh, so this is the in input. Now let's see here. For example, boom, copy paste it into our example. A Each path appears as a single line of text in your scan. After the first point of each path, each point indicates an, the end of a straight horizontal vertical line to be drawn from the previous point. For example, uh, 4984, 4986, 4966. Ah. Uh, this scan means that there are uh, two paths of rock. The first path consists of two straight lines, and the second path consists of three straight lines. Oh. Yeah. And by the way, I'm not drinking. I'm drinking what I call Martian coffee. It's just a. Uh, Caffeine as an L-theanine in hot water. It's not good. I'm not gonna drink it again. Anyway. Okay, so we scan this. Okay, it's big very big line work four nine eight two four nine eight six. Four to six. And then six to... Yeah, okay. The sand is pouring into the cave from the point. 500 point comma zero. Okay. 
Yes. Okay, areas dot says plus this becomes Sand is pursued produce one unit at a time, and the next unit of sand is not pursued until the previous unit of sand comes to rest. Unit of sand is large enough to fill one tile of air in your scan. A unit of sand always falls down one step if possible. If the tile immediately below is blocked by rock or sand, the unit of sand attempts to set move diagonally one step down and to the left. If that tile is blocked, the unit of sand becomes... Okay. By rock or sand, that tile is blocked. The unit becomes sand because him can move diagonally one step down and to the right. Sand keeps moving along uh, as long as it's able to do so. At each step, trying to move down, then down left, then down right. If all three possible destinations are blocked, the unit of sand comes to rest and no longer moves, at which point the next unit of sand is created back at the source. So drawing a sand is contrast as oh, okay. Yeah, and then ding. And then ding. Okay. Yeah, this is a bit fun. Okay. Finally, only two more sands can possibly come to rest. Uh, once all 24 units of sand shown above have come to rest, all further sand flows out of the, the bottom, falling into the end of this void. Just for the fun, the path of any new sand before falling forever soon, here was Tilda. Using your scan, simulate the falling sand. How many units of sand come to rest before the sand starts flowing into the abyss below? Okay, now let's start scanning these. Okay, okay. data input. This is gonna be I, and it's gonna be a pair of integers, and comma, and. Okay, so each line is gonna be, yeah, a list of integers. Okay, now a. Driving show. Okay. Instance read input. Where? Now I wanna so we should probably put this in the utils. Where it's like this reads prac equals util a uh, So I want to do import a, a read text .parser combinators combinate combin. Okay, so I'm gonna actually re-export it. So text uh, this is gonna be chunks, and I'm gonna so I'm gonna say this a uh, read a. Rack parse is equal to takes in parse and reads this. Uh, top combinators dot read p. And then we just re export the module here text dot parser combinators dot read p. Can I do this like this? No, I have to say module. Okay. A import text.parser combinators. Ah! Somebody's watching. Read, read prec, a import qualified text.parser combinator. Combinators. Read prec. Read prec. As RP. Okay, prec pars takes in R8P and, and returns. Okay. And we'll export prec pars as well. Now we will import util here. Import util. Now read input will be a where reads prec equals a parse prec parse where parse equals undefined now it won't it doesn't want this 
Shrek Pars, I called it. Shrek Pars. Let's call it Pars Prek, because that's the one I guessed it was, then we chilled. It'd probably be named like that. Pars Prek. Pars Prek. That's probably where Parsec comes from, actually. Let me see. Hey. Okay. 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 Anyway, it's on an adventure. Okay, so. Pars Prek. We have to do all these explicit exports because we are re exporting a module. Okay, so. Pars. So this is gonna be do. Um, Pars pair is equal to do a reads. Read s to p. Reads. Read at in. This is gonna be a parse pair. So a set by okay, set by one. Uh parse pair and then this is gonna be a skip spaces and then a string skip spaces. De -de 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 -de. Now, uh, and then I over I over and then all of this De -de 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 -de. This is a read of incomplete. Now read at int a jar comma read x and y read s to p um reads at int return x comma y okay now let us print this a read input file path to input io input a list of input read input equals a map read map read so we're gonna f map dot lines over read file all right now do read input x uh, the day 14 example print okay ah, at least it type checks Huh. And we get the input. Now we have to simulate this. Okay. Ding, 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 ding. Okay, first of all, I want to shift it all a uh, by a uh, 500. Okay, I don't care. Let me see. Because all, this is all 500 for some reason. Uh, well, okay, it doesn't actually matter, but still, I feel like. Okay, so. Ding, 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 ding. Okay, so we can have this map and we can like make it uh, update. Let's just see here. So for a, okay. 
So where does it stop? Okay, let's take here um blocked takes an input and returns it returns a range uh it returns a set of chords set import data dot set set import data set as set so block takes an input and it we will like generate the range that of of the ones that are blocked okay blocked okay empty equals set dot empty uh, input yeah so this is actually i of empty is set of empty How to do this in Let me see. Okay, so so uh I'm actually just gonna do like I of X uh, Y uh, P one P two rest okay now uh, so anything else will just be set dot empty this is equal to uh set dot union blocked i p2 p2 r okay and where uh ln set okay where ln set is set of int comma int so uh ln set and then we are gonna just give it p1 p2 okay uh ln set uh we could actually yeah okay these might be like a very long lines so they might have a lot of points okay so let's just um so let's a uh, let's not do it like that let's actually do here uh so blocked takes a list an input and then a, a And then chord and a and it, we will actually check whether it's between those two chords. So we'll, yeah, okay. Okay, so we're taking an X here. And a X, this is just equal to false. Now, um, x comma y. So let's do uh, p at. Okay, so uh, x one. Oh my god, comma x two. P one. Okay, let's not do it this way. So let's say p one p two. Well, let's just simplify it. Okay, and P, and then we say if between 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 P one P two P, then uh, so okay, this is actually between P one or P two or. Blocked I P two R P 
be. Okay. Now we just have this C set of functions. Okay, and uh, now between Oh my god. Let's not call it between then because that's reserved. Let's call it twit. Betwixt. Betwixt. Int, comma, int. Int, comma, int. Int, comma, int. Betwixt. A. X1. Y1. X2. Y2. X and Y. This is equal to. Okay. Uh, now, if a point is between two points, then it's a. Uh, so, so either of a. Uh, okay. So it's always going to be okay. First, we have to sort the points. Did we do this some other day? Um. Okay, um do, 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 do. Okay, so if x1 is equal to x2, so then there is a line like this. If x1 equal to x2, then we have to check that uh, y1 less than equal to y and y2 less than equal to, so y less than equal to y2 or uh, y2 less than equal to y and, and y less than equal to y1 we don't know which order the points are in else Um, let's actually just uh... okay. So if they're not okay, so if they're not equal, then else if y one equals y two, we do the same, but for uh, then. Y, X, G. Hi, do you know how I can go from 1, 2 to 1 plus 2 in Haskell? I'm trying to chain integers together with a custom fold. So I, I, I would use a fold 1. Let me show. Ah, Haskell question. G, H, E, I. T, fold L1. So fold L1 plus 1 comma 2. Okay. Jet out. Did that answer your question? And I hope it did. False. What is this? Uh, the bull. Okay, so Okay, so the twixt there Ah, uh, it will Well, okay, so what do I need to know here? Well, I know that either x1 equals x2 or, because all the point will always have, one of them will be equal, because we're always checking the line. So I don't actually need to check. And uh, if x equals x2 and x equals x1, else, 
if y equals y1, then we check this. Otherwise false. But I know that the lines are always... Uh, they're always going to be equal. Alright, just ask again. We also do uh, Haskell help sessions. Uh, let's see. I think betwixt is correct now. Let's load day 14 slash day 14 betwixt Okay, let's say one comma two and uh, uh, three comma two. Uh, and then I want to check if two comma two is betwixt. Okay, three comma two is betwixt. Four comma two is should not be betwixt. Okay, now uh, two comma two is betwixt, but two comma one should not be betwixt. And three is just far out. Okay. I think this is the betwixt formula. Now, blocked. So, okay, now we're going to be checking a lot of betwixt. Uh, I feel like uh, we should take all the inputs. We get all the betwixts, right? Uh, and they should have some... We should have some markers, right? Doom, doom, doom. So let's actually not do it like this. Let's actually just go from inputs to pairs. Okay. Let me let me cancel this. Hashtag cancelled. Okay, so I want to go from a two lines equals go from list of input to a list of list of int comma int. Two lines. Okay, so empty is equal to empty. Two lines. Um, I of A B rest. Uh, uh, R rest of input. Okay, so let's for one input. Two lines i prime equals input to list of ah uh, I it's actually like okay so let's write here type chord equals uh, int comma int now I want to go to chord chord. Now this one should go to a from a list to a co or a chord. So this is actually two lines. Chord a chord. Okay. A concat map. A two lines. Okay. This is fine. Uh, so we just concat map two lines prime. So two lines prime of I, A, B, R, R, S. It's equal to A comma B. Two lines prime. B, R, Uh, two lines prime. Ah, there's actually nothing. We're, not, we're just doing one line. Two lines I B R. Thanks, it worked, but it gave me. Can I turn it to full? One plus two plus three plus four. 
a Jedi trifold R1. So instead of fold L1, do fold R1. That is exactly the other associativity. Now, what is wrong here? Oh. Thank you, you are amazing. Wow. How's that for a start to your day? Okay, uh, now let's do print, let's say two lines. Ah. So these are, uh, okay, no wait, yeah. These are all the lines we have. Ah, yeah, and two lines prime of anything else is just empty. These are all the lines we have. Okay, now we want to divide this into X lines and Y lines, okay? Is a, a vertical, is X line. Line takes a chord, okay, then this is type line equal chord, comma chord. This is gonna be line. Now, is X line line to pool? Is X line X? So this is gonna be X one, uh, Y one. Okay. Uh, X two equals X one equals X two. Okay. Now we are going to. Partition is X line. This is from data dot list. Okay, and uh, now we have the X lines here. Okay, and then we have the Y lines. Okay, now we are going to uh, yeah, exactly. So that's what fold our one is, right? It's like fold L, but it does it from the other direction. And you probably should be using fold R if you can, but uh, I never remember which one is which. Okay, uh, now so let's go. Um, so, uh, to X map, this is takes in a line, and we're gonna assume it's an X line. Boom. To X map, uh, takes in X1, comma, Y1, X2, X2, comma, Y2. Case x1 not equal to x2 equals error. Not a, not an x line. Oh, we can actually, well, add. We don't actually have to do this. We just do is x line. Oh not okay to uh then we don't even need to dis destruct it okay now to x map uh, the whole thing x uh equals int map so i am dot singleton and the key is going to be x, and the value is going to be y1 comma y2. Int map, uh, oh, oh, actually, int comma int. 
data dot int map int map import qualified data dot int map uh, as I am ding 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 okay now we do the same for the y map if it is x line then we say uh, a y line not a y line okay and then the y's are equal so x1 x2 I am singleton y x1 x2 ah and I'm actually gonna be a bit more clever about this so I'm gonna say here min y1 y2 and max y1 y2 so they're always gonna be in order min x1 x2 max y1 x1 x2 max x1 x2 okay now let's do here so task one takes in a list of input and returns a pair of int map so a collision map is so a call map so collision map call map type call map equals int map int my int and this one takes and it will give us two call maps ah i'm actually gonna be very clever here and just say int map int comma int okay task one input to call map map so task one equals a ah uh, okay so this one gives us a wind map uh okay yeah 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 it's because what might have like multiple lines in the same like non non-contiguous lines okay Ding ding ding, ding 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 And then this is actually gonna be a list of these. Okay, and now task one gonna give me a call map. So I gotta take the uh, I'm gonna take uh, the uh, imps equals uh, so where x's and y's equals partition is x line of two lines imps and then i'm gonna do a i i am dot unions with plus plus a x's a i am dot unions with plus plus y's ding, 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 ding. ah and then this is because dollar two x map map to x map and then this was going to be the same map to y map now let's actually not do this we do print dot task one ah. so then i have these a uh, collision maps for x and y okay Ding, ding, ding. 
Uh, I want to be able to add a point to those. Uh, mm -hmm. It would be nice if we could kind of unify. Um, uh, uh, let's write here compact int map and comma int to int map in command so compact uh, takes a, a, a f map compact compact prime where compact prime Oh my god. Let me turn it off. Uh, that was let me see. I don't think there was anything funny there. Uh sorry about that. Uh, there was nothing confidential being said though. So compact a uh, Are we, are we too eager here? So I want to be like... I want to be like... Um, so I want to kind of join together lines that are together. Okay, let me... Let's wait with this, okay? Probably don't need this so far. Okay, uh, but like, because we're going to be adding grains of sand. Grain. Int, comma, int. So where it ends up to the call map. Add grain. X, comma, Y. X, L, L, my L. Equals. So um, we insert into so I am okay. So this is gonna be I am dot alter adjust. Uh, I am adjust. Okay, so we're gonna do I am dot we'll go adjust. Let's look that up in the here. So I wanna adjust. So for the X lines I wanna adjust adjust and I just want to add a Y where come a Y. And I wanna add that to the X XL I am dot adjust uh, X comma X uh, X comma X Y Y L This is how we add a grain of sand And you can see now why I would like to kind of be able to merge together Things that are uh, like if I add something, I just want to merge it. Uh, but let's a. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, okay, we're gonna be looking in these maps. I mean, it's pretty efficient already because we just kind of look up in the map and then we look up and... Uh... 
and it's always going to be increasing. Okay, so we add the grain. Okay, eh. let's just do a collision call map in comma end cool. so collision uh, x l y l uh, x l y uh, then I'm gonna say um, If we check the X collision, so we take uh, XL I am dot bang X. Okay, and then we check um, of just a like this um, then uh, any uh, so we get uh, we get the uh, y1 y2 here uh, y1 less than equal to y and y2 less than equal to and uh, y less than equal to y2 of the axis. Okay, either that or I complain. Oh, equals. Either that. Let's see. Where x call equals. So that's going to be this. So check the X call. Oh, okay, this is actually a Y call, but anyway. Y call, so then we check the X's, nothing. Calls. The X call is the same. But the uh, other way, right? So then it's YL and Y and Y's. Uh, X1, X2 x1 less than uh, x and x less than x x2 and y is here nothing falls uh x call or y call okay Now, uh, a lot, lot faster if we can binary search, search here. Okay, so let me think how we can actually do that. So instead of checking all of them. See the idea, right? We have this collision map, and then we're gonna add the grains. Um, and so we're actually gonna just take okay, just let's just say here compact. We're actually gonna pretend we compact, but compact equals eight. We're not gonna do it, but we what we which we should do it. Okay, um, okay.
now let me actually print up this map and we're gonna do it with the same ranges here so we're gonna print a uh, 0 to 9 and 494 to 503 just to check that the collision map works uh, okay so uh, so we let's generate all the coordinates uh, uh, ex ex Cohorts equals a uh, let. So we're gonna get the combination uh, over a four nine three to five oh three. Oh, wait, right. four nine four to five oh three and a zero to nine. Print ex cohorts. Right, okay, now we're gonna and uh, now we're gonna print these. So these are actually the X cords. Or they're the other way around. No, they're supposed to be like this, yeah. Okay, and uh, now print a, a map collision. X, X. Okay, so now we're gonna print these X cohorts. Okay, so let's say um, let's just do four M import control dot monad four M four M a and we do four nine four two five oh three and do maybe yeah, we can do four loops in Haskell. Uh, four M a uh, zero to no. Now we want to do it around the other way. Zero to nine. Uh, let me see going to be a y to 494 to 503 is going to be a x to do now if let's say uh, let's get the call map first here let's go task one map is task one over read input if collision C map a x comma y then put stir dot uh, puts your dot else put stir hashtag uh, and then we're going to put stir ln. Okay, now let's see what this does. Um, right, and then this one needs to be outside the four. Okay, if collision, we want the hashtag. Otherwise, we want this. Okay, so the collision map does work. And uh, okay, nice. We could have, we could have, we could have screwed up there, but we did not. Okay, now let me compact the uh, 
let me compact the map okay so so let's see so where does the grain end up first one that ends up at a so it's about 500,8. So let's see here. Uh, a grain 500, 500,8. See map. Okay, we're doing it every round or whatever. Ooh, that did not work. Okay, so how do I uh, come back? So here I want to actually, uh, maybe I want to uh, y x x and then y y x. No. But it is 500, and let's see, 500 comma zero. Okay, so my add grain function is not doing the correct thing. Let's print out the result. Uh, print add grain 500 comma eight. See uh, map. AC uh, let AC equals print AC. Okay, if uh, I am adjust. Okay, let's see. Ah, uh, maybe it's because it's not there. I am adjust update uh, so alter oh yeah I need to alter actually so it's not adjust it's actually alter now a uh, where AF of uh, P of so if it's something there just L equals just PL AFP of nothing equals just P so we're gonna say here uh, AF and then this point and then I think it's the correct one Oh, so the x coordinate this is all the y coordinates yeah okay x x okay so eight oh no okay so it's the other way around okay uh, x y y x x y Okay, now we've added to the list. Um, okay, now I'm gonna add two grains. Uh, add grain five five hundred comma seven, right? So that's like the next one. Well, I mean, it's not the next one, but. We imagine we added something there. Now I wanna. Now I wanna. I wanna combine this. A uh, to come back, compact. Okay. So first of all, I am dot. Uh, so we're gonna f map. Compact over. F my compact frame. Where fmap 
So we're compact prime is gonna be first of all sort. Okay, we gotta we gotta sort it. Import control dot monad sort. But it's gonna be very uh, probably gonna be very expensive to sort it every single time. So let's assume that it is sorted. So let's construct it and then we sort it. Um, okay, then we do a F map a sort. F map sort. So we, we maintain them sorted. Import a, a yeah. It's actually pretty insane that sort is not there by default. Okay, so we maintain them sorted. Uh, 69. Nice. Variable minus scope sort. Didn't I just add it here? Did. Okay, now uh, okay. So because I think the initial one will actually will be fine. Okay, so now I'm adding to the list, and I want to change the. And we're not gonna compact it every time. We're just gonna do the alter function. Okay, so if there's already a list there. I mean, so... Um, Okay, so it's gonna be sorted. Um, okay, so this is just gonna be let's let's actually because we're, we're adding single points here. Y X. No, yeah, Y and X. Okay, so it's gonna be I. Okay, so we have just the list. Okay, now we're not going to add it to the front. So let's uh, actually make it so that we can actually see this happen. So 508 and then this is 7. Okay, now we can see this happening. So we are going to say a... Uh, where... Uh, people. So we're going to do uh, a first and then rest. Uh, equals where uh, so uh, span uh, we have start and end and we are going to say start is greater than uh, the end the i uh, so while this end um okay so we're taking until the ends are are so while we're taking uh while it holds right gti doc span what do you think is not possible dude i think we can do it uh, where longest prefix the element that satisfy. Okay, yeah. So while it's smaller than I. Okay. A. Okay. Uh, of L. Oh. 
now a uh, so we have start end we have start end so we might be like putting a line in like between and we're gonna we might be Okay, so there's going to be some head of this list. So this uh, list is not going to be empty. Uh, okay, let's actually do it like this. Uh, extend. So we want to kind of retain the... the So it will only ever extend by a one point, right? Okay, so then we can just do a um, so maybe if it extends a starting point. Okay, so just a, let's see, a, just P, PL, a, where, a, okay, let's, uh, let's actually just sort here. Can I do insert somehow, like in a insert? I can just do insert. Just insert PL. Import qualified data dot list as list. And then this is list dot insert. Okay, now. Oh no, 71. Okay. Compact. No, we don't. We're not actually compacting because we just maintain it here. Ding, 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 ding. Ah. So we insert now, so we can insert it into the list. Okay, uh, insert. Okay, uh, let's just be a bit shameless here. Now, okay. Where L prime is equal to uh, insert no prime now I want to see where that ended up so we're gonna say just a okay, let's call this X uh, here X comma X uh, uh, let's see uh, let's call this P equals X comma X and then we insert the P now just E is a list dot index of in find index now this is list dot find index okay and we find the a uh,
uh, lm index let's start lm index p l prime Ooh, lm index index P, uh, P is, oh, P is. Uh, P. Okay, now we find the index. Uh, so here I'm gonna say. Okay, so now we're gonna check whether we can merge with the start or the end of some other list. Let's see. Uh, let's write that. Merge int go int comma int int comma int int comma int. So they're off by merge. Okay, x one y one. Oh, x one. So I start one, start two. Uh, e1 uh, start one and one and then start two e2 is equal to okay so if a uh, so if uh, the distance between e1 if if uh, so s2 minus e1 so the distance between those is less than or equal to one. Then uh, s one comma e two. Yeah, and I'm gonna assume they're sorted. Let's say maybe in. Just counts nothing. Now, okay. Now let's see here. Uh, mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, now, uh, <laughs> okay, so let's say. Uh, so we could like potentially merge all the pairs here. I think maybe yeah, maybe that's just fine if we just kind of that's the original compact idea. Right? I just check if we can merge anything and then merge it. Uh, but uh, let's actually in this case, there's actually only one. There's only one. There's only always just one place we can merge. Um, mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, so we're gonna what do like do it like this. Okay, so L prime prime uh, is equal to if i is larger than or equal to if so i if i is a uh, larger than zero okay so i mean it's going to be larger than or equal to zero um so if it's larger than 
So if it got inserted at the front. Then... Case L a prime of... Then it's a point here. And there's another point. And there's a rest. And then we just do... A... Case merge P P two P one P two of just R uh, just uh, P three of P three R. Otherwise, it goes to be. It's just P1, P2, R. Okay, and then this one will always hold. Error. Always hold. Because if we have, uh, we inserted someone and the list was not empty, then we're gonna have something at the end. Else, okay, then we're gonna do case um, GTL. Let's see, split at one, one, two, three. Case a uh, split at uh, I. Ah, okay. I minus one actually. L prime. Oh. So we're gonna have here the front of the list. We're gonna have the P zero, like point previous point, the current like the new point, and then the point after that. And then the rest. Um Now this might not, okay, so if it's P0, P1, empty list, then a uh, uh, case merge P0, P1 of, ah, uh, case merge P0, P1 of just P3, of and then it's F plus P3 P3 otherwise it's just F plus otherwise it's just uh, L prime we actually yeah we can do that here L prime and then here we don't even have to have the error okay it's just L prime okay so if if there if it happens to be this way Uh, but then, so this is okay. Anyway, now otherwise we have the front, and then we have P zero, P one, P two, and the rest. Case merge P zero, P one of just P three. So then we're gonna do case, uh, case merge. Uh, P3, P3, P2. Uh, P1 prime, P case merge P1 prime of just P3. So then it becomes, so then we merge all those three points and we become F plus P3R. Okay, now, uh, of, okay, if we cannot merge P1, 
prime and p2 then we just f plus p1 prime p2 r now if we cannot merge p1 prime then we are going to say case merge p1 p2 of just this is going to be a nightmare to debug if we have to debug it a p1 p2 of a p2 prime and then we do a, a f plus p0 p2 prime rest otherwise we didn't manage to merge anything we just return l prime Okay, so I'm thinking, can we remove this? Uh, so split at minus i minus one, zero. Okay, so if it's zero, I think we can re remove this if statement here. So uh, if i is zero, let's see, split at zero and what if i do split at minus one okay so it will just kind of work okay okay case merge Okay, like this, uh, otherwise... Okay. Now this is crazy. Okay, let me print that. Five, seven, seven, eight, eight, okay. Right, and I'm not returning, so I'll return all prime prime. See, and now I got merged to seven eight. Now let me add a uh, add grain a uh, five hundred comma six. It becomes six eight. So let me add five here. Then it's five five and then seven eight, and if I add grain five hundred comma six, ah, it merges the whole line. All right, so now we can add grain super efficiently, and it will kind of maintain the invariant. Now, uh, so collision, so I don't have to check for all. So I can actually just do, um, I feel like I'm spending so much time optimizing this when it's probably completely useless. Um, Let me see here. Uh, X call case ILMX Y call. So these X's. Okay. So um, let's just see. Take case. Uh, take while S E S S N E. Take while s larger than y. So if I take while s is larger than y, so it will break once s is smaller than or equal to. Uh, so if it's empty, then it's just false. 
if we have an s comma e um, R, then I check if S of Y less than Y less than equal to E. All right, and this is uh, axis. So then I can kind of just, yeah, collage, collision like that. Um, now we don't have to check all of them, but we do have to kind of scan through the list. Okay, it would be nice if we could simplify this even further, but uh, let's say we should be able to do like a binary search of the list and something like that. but i think it's just premature i mean we're doing we've done a lot already right oh no Why did it work for the other one, but not... Oh, okay, it didn't work. Ah, let's just keep it any. We've done a lot of work uh, merging them. Okay, but we should still be able to utilize the fact that they're sorry, we did all this work. Um, ah, I should be able to check. larger than y oh s a uh, Thank you. 
we're doing a lot of these collision stuff. Let's write them function. Okay. Uh, in call, call, uh, in ranges. Into int and an int the board. Okay, in ranges, ranges uh, x calls. So it's sorted. Ah, but it's a list, right? So we don't actually have like a an array. Yeah, okay, so it doesn't matter because we don't have an array. We don't have random access to the list. We have to do it all anyway. So it doesn't actually it doesn't actually matter. But okay, but it's nice to be able to merge things. Okay. Uh now let's actually go do the task um, so grain so we're, we're gonna do a grain false okay so we're gonna have the current call map okay um, now we're gonna do grain false int comma int comma um Okay, so grain fall is going to take an int to int to a next int to int. It's going to take the fall map into a int to int to um, either so either the new coordinate or it's going to. Um, Turn maybe final coordinate. Either maybe uh, this is a bit wonky. Anyway, crane fall call map. Okay, then um, uh, G. Okay, so we're gonna say a. Uh, If collision uh, CMG GXGY If collision uh, uh, CMG There's something in the way Then If collision CM A G X go it's gonna fall down one step always falls well down one step if possible. Okay, so so we have the current state of the set. So if collision GX comma G Y plus one. So if that if there's a collision if not collision then grain fall cm gx gy plus one so then it keeps on falling else else if collision gx if it so it falls the uh, understand that one to one step to the down and to the left gx minus one um GY plus one else if not collision then grain fall CM GX minus one GY plus one 
else if not collision cm uh, gx plus one gy plus one then grain for cm gx plus one gy plus one okay so if all of these collide then uh, four possible decisions about well, then okay left gx gy Okay, now, and I'm gonna check here also that, um, so I have the X map, okay, and I have the, uh, so it's out of, it's pulling into the void, if there, uh, so, uh, CM at, uh, I don't care about the but I don't care about the Y here. And I'm gonna say the like the min key min max um uh find min minimal key of the map find max delete update max okay you don't know, we'll talk about it we don't care about that uh, look up min equals uh, look up max uh, and we don't care about uh, it and we don't care about the um, <laughs> we don't care we care about that we care about the, okay so we look up max in uh, y and it's gonna be just a Y max. Okay, uh, so if this is the case and Y max and, and GY, GY is larger than or equal to um, Okay, let's just actually do the grain fall and the current and then um, we actually just return a new call map. Okay, so if it's larger than Y max, we are done. We return CM. Okay. This is the base case. Uh, now we do otherwise. Rainfall uh, equals. I am dot lookup max. So if we're not, um, if we're not out of the out of bounds, uh, let's say init pause equals 500 comma zero so grain fall then else a uh, add grain g a uh, so cm prime equals add direct grain a uh, g cm in grain fall cm prime in it a pause okay now if anything if it falls into the void then we are done okay so okay so here's where it goes and if not okay otherwise it goes to rest uh, and we end when okay let's just see what it does okay let's um if collision let's see c map 
collision C map. Let me put it like this. Now, uh, let a G map equals a rainfall C map in it pause. If collision C map then put string else if collision G map x comma y then put string o else put string dot Okay. Now it looks exactly like that. Uh, yeah. Okay. Now we need to figure out. We have the G map, uh, and we have the C map. Okay, now let's figure out how we can uh, how do we figure out intersect oh, because we uh yeah we we joined all the we joined all the lines so now we actually don't have the uh, Okay, a left bias intersection. So we actually want the difference. Uh, difference. Uh, difference. Uh, okay. So then we do a uh, let uh, diff equals uh, G map without uh, C map. Uh, GX. Uh, we don't care about the GY here, uh, CX, uh, and then let's print out CX, CX without uh, GX. Oh, sorry, GX, I am dot slash slash CX. Okay, uh, let me print diff. Okay, and uh, now uh, let's say here um, range size x int to int uh, int range size s comma e equals E minus S plus one. Okay, so the diff is gonna be uh, the I M dot LMs. Well, actually, I M's dot for I M dot LMs and a. And we're gonna go to a concat concat map map range size and we're gonna sum twenty two is that correct? There's 24. Let's see. Uh, oh my god. This is quite annoying, I have to say.
Ah, uh, right, because a... Uh because uh, merging... Uh, okay, this won't work at all. These will just be the keys that are not in the map. Do, 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 So let me just do here grainfall. Okay, now let's not print the collision map. And uh, let's do it like this. Uh, C map, task one, read input, uh, input. So, uh, task one. Okay, let's see here. Uh, it's gonna be the C map. And then task one is first of Grainfall zero C map in it pause. Print dot task one. See if it still works. Still works. No, did I fetch the input already? No, this is the old input. Oh, I didn't fetch the input. Seven three seven. Let's see if that's correct. All right, we got task one. 
What does CMAP at mean? Senithis asks. So this is a trick in Haskell. Well, not a trick. It just means that uh, we are going to give this thing here a name. Uh, let me explain. So we, because we're kind of unfolding the pattern and we don't want to repeat the whole thing again. So we actually, so here, so right. So instead of, so you say V at, and then we say whatever the pattern match and match against. And then instead of having to say, I comma CM again here, we can actually just say V, right? So we, we gave whatever this pattern match is a name, right? And we'll call that V. All right. Uh, Okay, now let's go for task two. I hope all this collision stuff was worth it. There is not the one who has There's a floor, and you're standing on it. You don't have time to count floors, so you assume the floor is an infinite horizontal line with a y coordinate equal to two plus the highest y coordinate of any point in your scan. Okay. Uh, the two plus the highest y coordinate of any point in your scan. In the example above, the highest y coordinate of any point is nine, and so the floor is at y plus eleven. Okay. Uh, let's see. Two lines in a, and we have the highest y coordinate. Is the black box in the corner? Oh no! My camera, camera seems to have missed that, right? Uh, oh, it was working uh, previously. Right. There we go. Don't know what happened. Camera seems to have stopped broadcasting. That's how long this stream is. Uh, sorry about that. I hope it wasn't too long. Okay, but thanks for pointing it out. Anyway, uh, now we're gonna have to figure out the highest Y. So task two. Okay, so we have these all these inputs and we want to figure out the highest y point let's uh, just uh, stop there task y imps and a uh, we have the let's get just so input so what is an input an input, uh, okay, let's do two lines. Well, what do we need to two lines? Uh, the input is just an I and commas. Okay, let's do, uh, we will find the highest Y of all of them. Two lines of imps, and then where highest uh, y's of a x comma y one y two equals a. Yeah, I've been having some trouble with the camera. I don't know. Cat map get wise uh, and then 
maximum. So let's see what the maximum is. Task two should be 11. No, it's nine. Okay, and then uh, and then so lore is equal to two plus this. Oh no. Okay, so this is the floor. And, and the highest, okay. So minus infinity to infinity with the edge floor. The example above now looks like this. Oh wow, very nice. Okay, so now we do this again. But we will add a line uh, to the Y's. Uh, uh, Orig, and now uh, Y's is going to be. Uh, so the line uh, minus a uh, min. Well. I think, what, what is it called again? Uh, enum. So, uh, enum has a, no, Mac min bound. Yes. So the X coordinate here is min bound. Uh, floor and the uh, y coordinate x coordinate max bound for oh yes auric now let's print it again uh, Call map. Uh, C map. Now, uh, C map is read input task two. I need to check my camera because it's a. Uh, shouldn't be doing that. Day 14. Example. Okay, and let's just uh, let's just call this Gmail. No, uh, okay. If collision, Gmail. So we're doing it twice, but whatever. Okay. Uh, and now we need to print to eleven. And let's print from four nine. Zero to five oh five. Okay, now we have that. Uh, we have the floor. Oh no. Okay. Uh, the final summary. You like the, in the example above. The situation finally looks like this. Until a unit of sand comes to rest at five hundred comma zero. Okay. So. Uh, Grain fall, we have to change. Do, 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 do. So this is grain fall uh, two. Now it's not actually a Y max. We actually check uh If we have a collision case, a collision CM init pause equals 
i,cm. And then it's just the same. Uh, so this is two, 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 two. And we add the grain and uh, it doesn't like this. Grain files have two different number of arguments. Ah. Thing is, I don't care about this one. Let me see here now. Uh, let's see, I comma the C map is the original one. Now let's see. And now uh, let G map equals grain fall zero comma C map a uh, init pause a uh, comma uh, R comma to the res init ma and then we're gonna say G map here again. Ooh, that's not good. Ding, 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 ding. Ah. Uh, so they never stop. show in okay so let's do here This is just supposed to be trace show. Sorry about that. Mm. Okay, it never seems to hit the floor. Which makes sense. Ah. Wait, okay, so the C map is the correct one, right? I mean it's like it's just like it's like they keep falling. Not collision. Okay, let me keep going. And then we add it. So it's like the first one keeps falling, right? Uh, and it's not actually finishing anything. So it's not the condition that's wrong. print the C map here. Okay. So this is the 11. Okay, let's not do collision. There. 
right let's just uh, so instead of uh, let's just have this int here and then this is just wise and we don't need this okay and this is gonna be uh, int comma call map and it's gonna be the floor okay and here we have the floor okay so if it hits the floor then okay so we say a Okay, so we want to end the whole thing here. Now, grain fall to floor a v i comma c m a g at g x comma g y, and the case is that g y plus one is larger when you get to the floor. Okay, so when we're on the floor. A equals let cm prime equals add grain okay uh, i think this might work a uh, g cm and grain fall to i plus one comma cm prime Need to pause. Uh, yeah, and I have to pass the floor around. it okay uh, floor comma z map I think this is probably better anyway okay tick tick okay let's add the floor here just because it looks better y is equal min bound comma floor max bound comma floor y is for a now let me print it in this way so they need to add a few more to 515 okay uh, but let's print the R here ninety three okay quite fast now let's see. do just a print task one and I want to do input print task two it's either for okay and I'm not gonna print the C map with R all oh, right am I tracing somewhere trace print Task one. Oh, that was me printing out task two. Okay, uh, we print out this. 
and then we're gonna do task two on the input and then uh, cmap i gmap i r i floor i task two read input floor i cmap i print r i Might take a while. Ah, five seconds. Two eight one four five. All right, we finished day two. Yeah, sorry about the camera issues. Took my camera out and I put it back in, and now it's misbehaving. I'll see what I can do about that. I have a backup webcam, but you know that's not as cool. Anyway. Thanks for tuning in. Sorry about the camera issues. Let me do a git status. Git add day 14. Git status. Git add util. Git commit am day 14. All right. Thank you for today. And uh, whoop whoop. Let's see what happens. Ah, little Lenny is here. Nice. Let's see. Let me see if I can fix the video for tomorrow. Ah, sad. I think it's like the power or something, blah, blah. I'll just take it out. Fix it up. But anyway, thanks for tuning in. Day 14. We are more than halfway through. Not bad. Huh. I could share on. Mastodon. Wow. Ah, that's very cool. All right. Thanks again. And uh, yeah. See you tomorrow. All right. Bye-bye.